everybody. Hi. Abby and I are coming here because it is that time of year again for the Chicago Yarn Crawl. Yay. <laughs> Jazz hands. Um, <laughs> so yes, the Chicago uh, 2023 Yarn Crawl is starting on July 22nd. It runs for nine days straight. So from the first weekend all the way to the second weekend. And we have swag in store. Woo! Take it away, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> so we got new notion thingies. I probably say it wrong. <laughs> so these are the stitch markers for this year. Um, they are on a ring this year. So obviously these are more knit friendly. Um, I do plan on seeing if I can get some lobster claw um, clasped for the crocheters so we can have some blingy bling on our projects. And then we got this little pouchy baggy thingy, but it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> they got books and yarn and colorful and very, very cute. And then there's this chic thingy. <laughs> it's also cute. I think it's an iron on, but I don't know. It's she cute. is correct. So this is an iron on patch um, with our little chic friend and a ball of yarn. And then this pouch is quite a bit bigger than the last pouches we had the past two years. Um, it has a substantial zipper and it is gusseted. It opens out and it will totally stand on its own. Like this is large enough for at least the skein of yarn. So um, I'm really, you could fit, I think you could fit two cakes in here or some minis. So socks, mittens, one skein shawl, or any type of one skein wonder, hats, perfect for this bag if you just want a little something on the go but obviously you can put your notions in here also um i don't know if you can tell through the video but this is very substantial fabric which of course is why it's also standing up so these are very sturdy very very nice and there's one more thing this is a cute tote bag <laughs> so this is the yarn crawl tote for this year and we are uh the theme this year is celebrating the chicago public libraries uh which I have always been in since school started. I love books, I love reading, I love libraries. They have so many resources. If you have not checked out your local library, you must do that. I love reading too, especially when I'm not forced to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Abigail. <laughs> As you can see down there, we got that hot yarn, some other ones. It's colorful. I, the, one, the part that I like about this one is that it's a lot more colorful than the other one because it has more colors. Instead of just one. Yeah. Very bright and fun this year with our library book theme. I don't know about the rest of you all, but I have an entire wall of bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are fun. Put them on your jackets, your jeans. Honestly, I think just, uh, well, not upside down, but iron it right <laughs> onto your, uh, your notions back here or your little mini project bag. Of course, it'll go on the back of your tote bag as well, wherever you want to put it. These are so stinking cute. All right, what is next? Oh, yes. Um, so for those of you who pre-ordered the um, mud bags, they just came in today. <laughs> now, when she says mud bag, she does not mean like a cute bag filled with mud. I do not. <laughs> so this one that Abby is holding is the Saturn XL. Um, so it, it's like very big. You can see like next to me is very big. Um, it has outside pockets. So if I slide my finger here, all of these are outside pockets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six or seven? Six. Six outside pockets. Um, it's got uh, the little loops here for your strap, which is inside the bag. Um, you open it by unzipping. Go ahead, Abby. Thank you very much. And then there's a snap here. And we're gonna take out all the stuffing. We don't need to see that. Very cute. I mean, it's pretty purple, but <laughs> not necessary at the moment. Okay, so this is the strap that clips on to the outside of the back here. Kind of very sturdy. And we have very another. Cute. A pocket here with a zip closure you can um, put like your smaller notion scissors and things in there but also like throw in your credit card or your library card yeah <laughs> um, this is the bag it is very deep like 
like that goes all the way almost up to my elbow yeah um and we've got more pockets on the inside there is one two three four five six more pockets on the inside so you've got 12 pockets and this baby here so 13 total um, this is going to hold plenty of skeins of yarn all of your notions all of your tools all of your everything you can roll up your uh, pattern and stick it in there it's going to fit a lot and again these are the ones that are going out to the people who did the pre-order so if you see anything you like jump on the website they're still up there you can order them and they should be here in about a week week and a half and then you get your stew. This is big. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this next one is the Evita XL. I'm just getting it ready for you. Mmm. Yes. Yeah. Very cute. <laughs> They're tassels. They're tassels. Yeah. And the leg easily comes off. It's a nice black on the inside. Mm -hmm. Actually, and some of the great notions, Trey. Look at that. Like, keep all your everything from falling. Oh, beads. Keep all your beads from going anywhere, too. Um. So, yeah. So, this is how mm, head size, I would say. Yeah. Maybe actually bigger than head size. Um, and it's, let's see, if um, flat hand. It's about that deep. Um, and it has pockets as well. All the pockets are on the inside. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. Oh, and I don't know if you see this little black thing here. That is so that you can slide uh, your needles or your hooks in there. Um, and the reason it's kind of wobbling like this is that yeah, you loosen this and it goes open like that and it's huge look at that it's huge <laughs> <laughs> this thing is pretty awesome so you can see all of your pockets and then that little black strap i was talking about for your hooks and needles and such um you can put your embroidery in here or your um any other needle point what is the other one I'm trying to think of? It's not embroidery. Cross stitch. Cross stitch. <laughs> you know things sometimes. Okay. So let's put this back in the basket. You want to hold that for me? All right. Putting that one back in the bag. And getting up the next one. Both the bags are so big. If your little goblin is being too noisy, you can just stick them in there. You know, obviously watch them, but. I don't know why anybody would have a goblin. No, you know, like they're a child, puppy. Uh, are you advocating violence on children? No. Aren't you a children? No, I'm not saying to leave them there, you know, just make sure to watch them. Uh, dude, no. Okay, what is next? It is the thing that you took out the back, so we don't know what it is. This one is Sandness. Uh, S-A-N-D-N-E-S. I don't know, if there is a way to pronounce this that is not saying this, I don't know what it is, so maybe yes. someone wants to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's saying this. I mean, yeah, it looks like saying this. It's just such a weird word. Um, so this is what that looks like. Um, we have three zippers. So we've got this side zipper pouch here and another side zipper pouch here. And then we have the center zipper. Very large. Paper out. Can you hold paper for me? Thank you. All right. So this is your inside. It's well, it's black, so it's hard to see. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> there is an inside zipper. Um, and what do we have here? Little pouch. Two uh, two little pouch pockets. One is probably for your more narrow things, your hooks and needles and such. And then we've got a lighter, lighter one, wider one, and then you can see like two hands full, basically. Um, I wouldn't put a skein of yarn here unless you're just like throwing some mini skeins in, um, but this is perfect for your um, needles, hooks, notions, and things like that. Anything basically small and flat. Um, all very, very nice. 
And also, just for like traveling, like putting all your like little mini toiletries and stuff in there, because this is perfect for that. And before you guys say why in the world does the thing say bum, it doesn't. It says mud. She thought it said bum. Uh, I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't think anybody else thinks it says bum. I think that's just you. Um, what is next? Can you stop drawing the, the labels off? <laughs> My goodness. She's not being very helpful. Okay. She's just like, here's a bag. We don't care what the name is. So these ones, uh, well, all of them are whiskey, but it's Hensley Kinky. <laughs> um, Helsinki is what she's trying to say. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> That's what, oh, I said. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I said. You can have your own mama. We have one open. Okay, but we can't. Oh, we don't need that. Open that one. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mud, not bum. So, it, anyways. <laughs> Mud. Um, so, this little number is brown, stands up. So, any of your um, smaller things, you can definitely fit those little small yarn scissors in here your stitch markers or any other notions like that. Mm -hmm. um, what else? What They're very, here? very extreme. If you have the, um, the Coco Knits watch, that would be um, magnetic bracelet thing, that would fit in here. Um, your uh, row counter would fit in here. Your ruler would fit in here. You can do a lot of little things. And it's, it's a, so next to my hand, it's about that tall. And so let's see, deep. Couple of knuckles deep. What am I trying to do here? Okay, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't done it in a video in a while. I, I'm, I'm having trouble. Yeah, about, <laughs> about four knuckles or so deep. Uh, okay, yeah, if you measure by knuckles, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put that one back in there. Okay. Oh, this one. This gargantuan, lovely thing. Yeah, it is huge. Um. This one is called the Marina Bucket Bag. So, yeah, this one's ginormous. Like, it's huge, huge. Um, and obviously, this extends out. So, there's your strap there. It's got your tassels there. Very um, soft. Yeah, it is very, very soft. Um, let's see, no outside pockets. So, all your pockets are on the inside. And again, gigantic. Could totally fit at least like one to two little goblins. <laughs> so you've got um, two inside pockets. One, two. <laughs> Definitely not awkward to hold. And um, then you have a zipper pocket. That one is here. Fit one. And then fit like, okay, that's gonna be weird. Like two human heads. <laughs> Like I could you, again two little sweater goblins. sweater quantity like two sweater quantities honestly like this is a lot of bag. In my opinion, I think you could fit at least one giant blanket, one little thin blanket. Here, I'm gonna stand up for a second. Hey, guys, look at it. This thing is so cute. It's very large. Yes, this is great. About help help what let me do about most of our arms length. Yeah, okay. There you go. Most of our arms. Are. Um, <laughs> I could probably like you know fit my butt in this. Don't do that though. <laughs> yeah. so quite, quite big, quite big. Can fit my arms. No, to there. Yeah, just in case they need adult arms. So I've got flat hands holding it again, and this and this one is actually passing my elbows. So that is how deep it is. Um, for width, yeah, it shoulder to shoulder. Um, obviously makes great project bag, makes a great purse, a weekend bag, a beach bag if you like. It's got this nice white bottom here. So yeah. yeah, that is the, what did I say, it was the marina? Where's the thing? It is, yes, the marina bucket. You wanna show them how it is when it's like tight like that? Hmm? Yep. Um, so there's that. I think there's, you got like two more things? Three? Uh, technically three. So there's this little thing. It's uh, a spoke. Um, mm -hmm. Here, I'll open that. You open that one. 
This one's the key. So this like one key. is like your little scissors pouch. So you know we, we all have those little tiny scissors for our yarn and maybe we have something to put it in, maybe we don't, and we're always trying to make sure we don't stab ourselves. <laughs> Um, so this is what this is for. It's just a little pouch for you to put your uh, scissors in and then you snap them down to keep it locked up. So this is perfect. You could honestly put it on a keychain, um, uh, put it on a ring, stick it in your bag, and you always have your scissors. And again, this is the, this is called Espoo. E-S-P-O-O. Espoo. -O. No, it's a spell. It's like espresso. That's not a word. Yeah, the coffee, espresso. Yes. Yeah. Espresso. Espresso. That's what I said. Espresso. <laughs> then this, it's like... Maybe if you had like a really, really, really long, large toe. Um, so this is for your crochet hooks. Yeah. <laughs> um, very cute. This is for your crochet hooks. Um, obviously you can put double points in here. Um, it's not super long. We're talking like just... I think just past my hand size, yeah. So just a little bit, like it's reaching my wrist. There you go, that's better. Yeah, to your bracelet. So yeah, your crochet hooks, um, just definitely do double point needles. Um, you could put your um, darning needles in here if you want it. Basically anything long and skinny, you can definitely put your notions in here if you want it. But that it is what that is for. Handy dandy little piece. Protect the tools of the trade. Um, so the only thing that is left, um, which uh, I'm not going to open, but of course, it's the Effetiki. <laughs> this is the Clean and, and Care Kit. Yes, right there, as you can see. So um, it's got the spray and a nice um, sponge for rubbing in and buffing and everything. Mm -hmm. So this is for keeping your precious um, leather gear in good condition. Sorry, I pronounced it wrong. F T T. F T F T K. F T K. F T K. F T K cleaner. Just look for cleaning gear. It's clear. F T K cleaner. So. Um. So that is um. That's what we got for the pre-orders today. Like I said, um. If you see something that you like that you were looking to get, it's all. They're all still on the website. Get something fun. Hopefully, I'm giving you a better preview of some of the ones if you were unsure of um, what they look like and how they felt and things like that. Um, again, these are real leather. They feel really nice. They smell really nice. These are going to last you for a very, very long time, especially if you take proper care of your leather. Of course, we want to keep it conditioned and we don't want to dry it out. Um, but it's going to last a lifetime. And again, they come in two colors. Everyone was super wowed by the whiskey, which is why everything is in whiskey, but it also comes in black. So if you want a uh, classic black, they have that as well. And there are so many things for knitters, for crocheters, for um, uh, any type of uh, needlepoint, things like that. And just for travel, purses, bags, anything that you need, they have all of it. So if you see something you like, grab it. Um, and I'll be adding more as I see them. So if there's something you're like, oh gosh, I wish you guys had this, just let us know. We'll totally carry it. Um, what else do we have for today? Oh. So there is a local maker who makes amigurumi and they are the most adorable things. And we have these in store. So if you want to come and get them, you should. Um, I already have a turtle. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. I'd buy it for her. She wouldn't <laughs> let anybody else buy it. She loves it so much. <laughs> so this is a little rabbit. And we have a little octopus friend. Um, you guys have to see the legs on the octopus. This is so cute. Look. Boink. <laughs> these are adorable. I love these little babies. And they're so soft. Got a little whale. Yes. It does kind of look like mustard, but it's very cute. Little whale. We have our axolotl. Look at him. Look at the baby. <laughs> you want to do the turtle? Do you want to do the bee? Okay. I'm going to do the turtle. I love the turtle. Look at him. And we have more of these. We have different colors and different sizes of turtles and rabbits and whales. 
octopuses. We had a bigger ocelot, but that one's gone. <laughs> we even had a little alpaca, so but that one's gone too. <laughs> <laughs> they were both so cute. Um, but she, is, like I said, is local. She is more than willing to make um, any type of animal um, that you like. She's willing to do custom animals custom colors if you've got like a theme if you want to do like a party pack you know we've got our little shops over here for the little kids and their birthday parties and you can get maybe get a little everybody a little stuffy to go with their birthday bag yeah. or or if you're very on and off on crocheting like me and you crochet like a good portion then you just stop and you know work on the rest after a year um <laughs> you can buy these and the stitches are extremely tight <laughs> No stuffing is coming out. We're, we're working on her stitches to make sure they're a little bit tighter. I just made a banana turtle. <laughs> His did. name is Plantain. She made a banana turtle named Plantain. Look at this one. So cute. Look at the little beanie. Oh my god, guys. Come come buy these. They're so adorable. Um. Okay. So, I think that... Can you think of anything else? Uh, drink water. Yes. Drink water. Um, and don't drown because uh, we've had so much rain. So uh, if you're like in the Chicago area, be careful. We've got a tornado warning and flash floods warning everywhere. I don't know. It's wild out in these streets. Um, so <laughs> we're going to let you go. Uh, we'll talk more about Yarn Crawl, which again starts on July 22nd. So make sure you come and pre-order your swag so you can have it ready. And uh, start thinking about uh, your route. Plan your route. Um, Instagram? Hmm? Instagram. Instagram. What about Instagram? Yes. Time. <laughs> uh, we'll wait past that right now. She's talking about the fact that Instagram is going to cut this short. That's okay. I'm going to put it in the caption. All right. We love you guys. 